Will it be sports or maktab? Will it be tuition or maktab? Will it be extramural activities or maktab? This is the difficult choice that has to be made by parents and learners frequently. But what we need to remember is that we are defined by the choices we make or the choices that are made for us. Every choice that we make has consequences to it. When we choose sports, tuition, or extramural activities over our child attending the Maktab Madrasa, we are basically choosing something temporary over something permanent, something everlasting. The items of this world, the knowledges of this world, the pleasures of this world will be left in this world when we enter the grave. However, it is our knowledge about Deen, our practice on Deen, that will avail us in our life after death. The knowledge of Deen, which enables us to practice on Deen, is gained through the Maktab system, the system of primary Islamic education, which is usually offered at masajid and madrasas in the afternoons. The Noble Quran is the word of Almighty Allah. It has been revealed for the guidance of mankind. Learning to read the Noble Quran, making the Noble Quran one's companion for life, is not something that occurs by chance or instantaneously. It takes a prolonged period of perseverance and sacrifice. And it's for this reason that the child needs to attend the Maktab Madrasa regularly for a number of years. They can't pitch up one day and not pitch up one day, come now and then and expect to learn how to read Quran and to be efficient and to learn the essentials of deen. Nabi Sallallahu placed a lot of emphasis on the learning of the knowledge of Islam. The first Muslims were taught the Noble Quran and other essentials of Islam in a maktab system that was set up at Darul Arqam near Mount Safa. There were about 40 Sahaba radiallahu anhu who resided there on a permanent basis and Nabi Sallallahu would come there and teach them. He would stay for varying amount of days. He would teach them and go away. When the first group of 11 Ansaris accepted Islam from Medina to Munawwara, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi made immediate arrangements for them to learn the Noble Quran and other essentials of deen. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi sent Sayyidina Mus'ab ibn Umayr radiallahu anhu as a teacher to them. During the time of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, when he was the Khalif, he formalized the maktab arrangement. He stipulated Sayyidina Amr bin Abdullah al Khuzai as a teacher for the children in Medina Tul Munawwara. And this was his full-time occupation for which he would receive a stipend from the public treasury. And this system of the maktab has continued till today. The maktab is the lifeline to the preservation and the protection of Islam in a community. Through my own travels to different countries, I've observed that those communities that have placed emphasis on the maktab education, hiring dedicated teachers, ensuring that children attend, looking at the good syllabus for the children, in those communities, deen has been preserved. In the last few centuries, Muslims from Arab countries migrated to South America and to North America, many of whom are from the progenies of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. And unfortunately, they did not ensure maktabs were set up for the education of their children Islamically. And the end result is that they sadly lost their deen and are living fully integrated into non-Muslim communities. That being the scenario on the one hand. On the other hand, wherever Muslim communities have paid special attention to the maktab education, like in South Africa or the United Kingdom, then we find that Islam has been preserved, not only preserved, but it's also flourished. So, whenever you have to make that choice between maktab and sports, tuition or extramural activities, let your choice be guided what is in the eternal interest of the child. Imam Razi rahimahumullah has written that once Sayyidina Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, passed by the grave of a person who was being punished by the angels. He had some work to do and he went about doing his work. On his return, he sees the angels of mercy at the grave with large quantities of nur. And he was amazed at this and performed salah and asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, what is the reason for this? What's happening here? Why the sudden change? Allah revealed to Sayyidina Isa, this servant was a sinner and was suffering my punishment. However, at the time of his death, his wife was expecting a child. She gave birth to a son who has now grown up and been admitted into the maktab. The teacher taught him, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, 
in the name of Almighty Allah, the most beneficent and most merciful. Allah said to Sayyidina Isa, when he says that I am most beneficent, most merciful, I feel ashamed that I punish his father in the grave. As a result, uh, he's been forgiven and his condition has been changed. Subhanallah, the great benefit of attending the maktab. Together with this, scholars have written that young children who learn the Quran in Majid, this is a means of the punishment of Allah being averted from such people on earth at this time where these great challenges that the Ummah is facing is at this time that we need to look at ways to draw the mercy of Allah and one such way is to pay particular attention to the establishment, to the development, to ensuring that our kids attend the Maktab Madrasa. May Allah enable one and all. Allah